3 plus 4, as all of you know, just to reiterate for you to reflect on that thought, is environmental uh, stage specific curriculum and pedagogy. Now, we need to discuss whether it is feasible, whether it is a family as well as the community at large. And just to give an example, when the discussion was happening on shifting from summative to formative assessment, there was a lot of discussion on why we should shift to this uh, formative assessment vis-a-vis -vis summative, which we can discuss in detail. But an interesting point came was how effective it would be that in, within formative system, there could be some component of the guardian and household or in the community and the neighborhood. Very, very critical because that's where a uh, child tends to open up to the maximum. So that is one way of looking at this transition and shift. Now, the other set of changes that we see is specifically the 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. Uh, why it is so, why it was reconfigured or restructured. One, if you see each stage, that is foundational stage, preparatory stage, middle stage and secondary stage. Many of us are now aware because as I said, uh, last three, four years, we have a lot of awareness sessions, uh, training programs on NEP and I'm sure education world has also taken up a lot of initiative of outreach this knowledge about what is NEP and what are the issues of NEP. So there's a lot of dissemination which is happening. But what has been the larger uh, philosophical underpinnings of this 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4? If you are aware, please uh, do uh, come back with your thoughts that we discuss. But for those who are not aware, the foundation stage must emphasize on enabling flexibility for the learner, multi-level learning mechanisms that have to be bring, brought in, and play-based learning. These are the three core principles of the foundational stage, right? especially play-based learning. That's why it is important that we need to move out of textbooks and that's why the Jadui Pitara was conceptualized, that how a child would open the box and make this as his or her learning space and not have textbooks which are prescribed. So that is play-based learning, the concept. The preparatory stage. So while I'm sharing this, you can also reflect upon the, the linkages between each stage and how does it eventually prepare a child or a learner to go and get into the portals of higher education. Preparatory stage is uh, ought to be emphasizing on discovery and activity-based learning. And please also remember developmentally appropriate sort of uh, curriculum and pedagogy that you have. These are all the principles which enable that kind of a perspective. Preparatory stage, discovery and activity based learning along with some, some sort of formal interaction uh, that is classroom learning in order to lay a solid groundwork in reading, writing, speaking, physical education, art, languages, science and mathematics. Preparatory st stage must enable this uh, as some sort of an experience that schools can provide and it can vary by school, it is just a principle, it can vary by school and it ought to vary by context also. The middle stage, which is the uh, three of the five plus three plus three plus four, the middle stage ought to emphasize and with the condition of the above two stages also having that. The middle stage uh, ought to emphasize our pedagogical and curricular style of the preparatory stage. We continue to have the pedagogical and curricular style of the preparatory stage, but with introduction of subject teachers, for learning and discussion of more abstract concepts, right? By the stage, when they come to middle stage, they ought to have this sort of a exposure. Now, as I said, secondary stage, very, very critical, and it, at some time, it becomes important for us to see how the foundational, preparatory, and middle stage will prepare uh, the learner for secondary stage, and secondary further preparing the learner for higher education. Uh, secondary stage would be four years, as in NEP and Visages, of four years of multidisciplinary study with greater depth, greater analytical and creative thinking, and emphasize attention to life as in schools. So, in, in the foundation stage, we don't give them theories, concepts, as we all know, right? It is a matter of fact. But make it more of values being exposed as part of playful learning or learning by doing at the, same, at, at the child's developmentally appropriate stage. 
but in preparatory stage you expose them to uh, some sort of activities associated with values and in middle stage you bring in more of concepts and at the same time discussions around the concept of value in, in the local context not in the context which is very far and not something that a child can fathom beyond that local context and in secondary they become ambassadors of values right in terms of in the locality or the neighborhood so it should be an incremental stage appropriate exposure to certain concepts and also certain uh, subjects that you would be engaging in so essentially you are not seeing these stages almost covered most of the points uh, in, in given off in our time but i've got some questions and uh, some comments and some status uh, mentioning so he was talking about uh, hubs of learning i, I think you know you are you meant for that right you, you may mean uh, collaboration between various schools uh, in the locality sharing the resources and all that so that is implemented as uh, hubs of learning in cbsc schools but actually this is not working very well because most of the schools don't want to share their resources because they are not obligated so no one can make it as a mandatory it's only suggestive in nature uh, so most of the schools don't want to do that uh, so that's not working very well because uh, we are part of that hubs of learning and the five or six uh, schools are placed in one group and uh, that's about uh, hol maybe i think nap can uh, come with some other uh, suggestion you talk about accreditation process accreditation might be not a good idea because uh, <coughs> as soon as you mention about accreditation uh, all schools will run for uh, accreditation and uh, then a lot of other commercial interest will come in so but instead uh, cbs has introduced one beautiful thing that is called squaf school uh, quality assurance and uh, assurance assessment and assurance so this is working very well it's a 360 degree uh, assessment you know your peer assessment as well as uh, your own assessment assessment by um, you know other people that's a wonderful thing uh, here i have got some questions for you uh, education is in the concurrent list like you know it's not only uh, central government cannot impose uh, something on the state government because uh, it is a part of the concurrent list and what is the obligation of state governments to implement uh, this nep in toto or uh, meet the timeline that's one question and also somewhere i read it that in 5 plus 3 plus 4 in this particular thing there are some board exams at what stage these board exams are there in the last thing there's a four that is high school like 9th 10th 11th 12th and uh, it was proposed to do away with the uh, board exam but we have not received any kind of instructions uh, either from uh, state government or central government or uh, cbsc or icsc and also it's wonderful to see that uh, um, uh, flexibility of uh, choices of the subjects uh, we all studied or intermediate or whatever uh, bachelor degree with certain bundle of subjects if you want to become a doctor you have to take bpc biology physics and chemistry if i don't like physics also i have to take it but every time i used to curse people like why do they have to uh, do this like you know why not i take whatever subject i like but now it has come with uh, this wonderful proposal uh, but what is the feasibility of this so when the choice is given to uh, students like you know one will opt for psychology one will opt for history geography you know there are 10 15 subjects and uh, maybe two two to three students will opt one subject and uh, growth remains the same uh, two and a half year child was two and a half year child then also and now also and uh, six year Please, I would urge you to read.